Hey guys, welcome to Let's Talk Algorithms. This is Vankitesh and today we'll be solving the problem UTF-8 validation. The problem description states that a character in UTF-8 can be from 1 to 4 bytes long, subjected to the following rules. For one byte character, the first byte is 0, followed by the Unicode. And for n byte character, the first n bits are all 1s, the m plus 1 bits is 0, followed by n minus 1 bytes with most significant two bits belong to one zero so i went through this question multiple times to better understand this uh, uh, the description is very confusing so let me uh, briefly explain what utf-8 encoding is basically utf-8 this is the uh, textbook definition from wikipedia utf-8 is a variable width character encoding capable of encoding uh, unicode characters or any characters so this is one of the key parameter from the definition you see this is a variable width so it could be like one by two or n bytes i guess here we were told the character which we will be given is basically one to four bytes and this is the utf-8 encoding uh, I don't think you would necessarily have to look at the uh, how the UTF-8 encoding is displayed because uh, if you look at the question given an array of integers representing the data written whether it's a, it is a valid UTF-8 encoding so our input is an array which is an integer array so there's an example 197, 130 and 1 which represent the octet sequence of this binary um, sequence so basically the octet sequence is um, the binary in 8 the the you know uh, the binary sequence basically for example if you have to represent 197 in binary how would you do right so let's say um, 8 let's put down 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So if you're looking at binary, 2 power 7 is 128. Okay, let's use this space. This is 64. So 32, 16. 2 power 3 is 8. Four, two, one. So, if you have some understanding of how integers are represented in binary, it's basically uh, the power to the two. If you are representing one ninety seven, one ninety seven could be represented by you need one twenty eight. So you need uh, sixty four. One twenty eight plus sixty four is one ninety two. Now we need 5. So how would you get 5? 0 here because we don't need this. 0 here. 0 here. And 1 here. So 192 plus 1 here plus 1 here. So this is how it is represented in. Wait, this is already 4 plus 1. We don't need this. So if you see the given value octet sequence came from converting the given integer to binary so the problem comes down to the following given an integer array find the number of bytes find the number of bytes of that number so when i say number of bytes basically number of ones it starts with so find the number of bytes and check the next n minus one bytes start with binary one o. If you see, that is what the major second condition for a integer to be an UTF-8 validated character. For n byte characters, the first n bits are all ones. The m plus one bit is 0 followed by n minus 1 bytes with most significant two bits being 1 0 so this is what we are going to do find the number of bytes of that number 
so we'll just traverse through the traverse the given int array find the number of bytes of each number check if the next n minus 1 byte start with 1 no if not return false finally return true so the question is very confusing uh, if you look at the negative example right the second example is 235 140 and 4 if you look at 235 it is a 3 byte um, it's a, it's a three byte uh, character it, it has the first three bits are all one so it's a three byte character so you would expect uh, the next n minus one which is basically the next two characters uh, byte sequences should be starting with one zero right so if you see the second the, the first continuing um, after the first byte sequence the second byte sequence starts with one zero which is what the question expects that is fine so if you look at so this is three bytes right so it has to be the next two byte sequences the first byte sequence is fine if you look at the second byte sequence it doesn't start with one zero so you can immediately return false let's start the coding this algorithm all right so i've commented this time let's start with traversing the array as mentioned in the algorithm from starting to the end right and uh, let's use a temporary variable called number of bytes and take the value of the current integer let's say we are looking at 197 right so one thing you have to understand is calculating the number of bytes is basically um, um, a binary a, a bit manipulation operation if you use bit manipulation it, it will be very easy to identify the number of bytes I'll show you as I write the code about how to use bit, man, bit, bit manipulation especially the AND operator so first things first we are expecting only one to four bytes right one to four bytes long so if a number is greater than or equal to 255 right it's basically ninth the ninth digit to be one it has to be the ninth digit uh, has to be one for the whole uh, integer has to be greater than 255 so if it if that is the case we we'll return false we'll check else if given a value and do an and if you do an and with 128 and if it matches zero that is basically if you see then so if you do an and with 128 that is only one here and rest of are all zeros then it basically you have only one digit here right then then it's a number of bytes is one so number of bytes is one The next condition is checking two bytes if value and sorry, and 224 is equal to 192 then number of bytes is two so it's a similar thing when I say y 224 uh, and the given value is 192 that happens when you are um, basically if you three if you add up these three things 128 64 and 32 you will get 224 so if you are ending with um, 224 and you are getting 192 that is basically you have first two digits as ones which is uh, which resembles the number of bytes as two so next we check for three bytes you basically have to add 16 to it so value and 240 is equal to 224 if that is the case number of bytes 3 
next we need to check condition for four bytes if value bit by zan 248 you know assuming the last uh, digit is one and if it is 240 this is this is when basically you have all first four digits as once this is equal to three copy this it's basically equal to four now you have the number of bytes and you can have else condition which basically anything which is not all all of this has to be false so this is one uh, important condition you have to understand why we are writing this right because if you see for one byte character the first bit is a zero so if it is a one byte character the first bit always has to be zero so um, if you see from 128 without checking for 192 we dire directly went to 224 the reason is if it is two bytes it will be 192 you know um, but if if we are if we are uh, looking at 128 um, then we always have to return false because the first byte always starts with zero not with the one if more than n bytes if if it is two bytes the first n bits are all ones so we either check um, no zeros or st the integers which starts with at least two ones that is why uh, we are writing this else statement all right so now you have the number of bytes so the next part of the algorithm is find the number of bytes of each number check if the next n minus one bytes start with one zero right so let's use a use a temporary array temporary for loop do j equal to one j less than the number of bytes right we're going to check the next n number of bytes j plus plus what are we going to check here two conditions first if j plus i is greater than or equal to length of already the given data then you know we reach the end so we return false else if we check if it starts with a one zero or not we want short circuit exit exit so if it doesn't start with one zero we return false so we do data of i plus j right because i is where uh, we calculated the number of bytes and you are looking at the next n minus one bytes so i plus j and you have to do an and with 192 to see if it is 128 or not if it is 128 we are good because it 128 is when the byte sequence starts with 10 if it is not 128 then we return false and after exiting this you have to reset i right because we used we already checked the next i plus number of bytes minus one right, right until until this can until this index we already checked the whether the integers represent utf8 valid character sequences or not so at the end you return true if we doesn't fail any negative conditions then we are going to return true so let's run this code see if it works pretty sure there's some all right so for the given input 197 131 you get true as expected let's check the negative example so you have all right this right run it as expected false so again uh, you have to understand why you are writing this part uh, the first time i wrote i didn't consider uh, these rules uh, for sequences which directly starts with one zero i got a time limit exceeded because there are some inputs which uh, hit that sequence so let's submit the code see if it works okay we have a wrong answer for certain number let's check why
let's see what is expected so 230 136 145 the expected answer is true but we are returning false let's look at the code again so we are traversing the array number of bytes equal to zero in this system and if it is value is going to 55 we are making sure we are calculating the number of bytes all right then we check the next and minus one byte all right data i place here and you know what it's 192 not 197 small mistakes all right this is accepted 12 milliseconds and beats 100 percent of ghost submissions So if you have any questions, please add a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you.